what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh sorry about some of this hopefully this turns out good it's a little humid outside plus i got a little bit of rain so i'm trying to hurry up and get through this um this will be the update on the lake the gray tournament that me and my brother fished this past weekend but before we get into that i want to give a quick shout out to uh, a few partnerships uh, first of all six gill fishing uh i've been with them for about two years now and that was like the biggest excitement for me because i took a chance on trying to look into the sponsorship program i wasn't sure how it was going to work out i went online i did the application next thing you know i'm getting an email back from them telling me to fill out the uh i need to print sign the contract and then uh fax it back to them or scan it and email it back and since then i've been with them for two years uh, i really love their equipment great stuff and the customer service is some of the best so right now you know i don't see myself going anywhere else uh, the other one is going to be the guys over at monster monster bag has been really good to me and I just, I just like the guys over at Monster Bay. I reckon those guys are really good. They send awesome things. And for those of you who don't know what Monster Bass is, Monster Bass is a monthly subscription box. You, you sign up with them, and you can sign up for either three months, six months, I believe nine months, or for a full year. But basically, you sign up and you set up your subscription box, and then every month, they will send you a box of lures. Uh, there's other lure companies out there that do this as well, but here's what sets Monster Bass, here's what sets them apart from all those other companies. With Monster Bass, you, you pick the region that you fish. I live in Arkansas, so that would be fishing the southern region. So when I set up my account, I pick the southern region, and then every month they send me bait that will work best for the southern states. And then they also pick the bait based on the pattern that should be going on in your area. Uh, bass don't spawn the same time in California that they do here in Arkansas. So the baits that they will send me for fish in Arkansas or any of the other states in the southern region uh, are baits that should be working for that time of uh, month or that season. Also, it should be, you know, about the time that fish are getting onto certain feeding patterns. So go to Monster Bass. I will leave a link in the description box below. Also use the promo code STAY15 get $15 off on your first subscription box and I'll also have a link for six gill in the description box as well and now let's get into this so first of all I know y'all noticed that I have not uploaded a the video for the tournament unfortunately some of my camera equipment didn't make the trip that morning so I was not able to actually record the tournament. I apologize for that. I thought I had everything set up the night before so that way we could go and I missed a few things. So I didn't have all of my stuff. So I did not get to film the tournament. Uh, but we got to Lake De Grey on time. Uh, we got out there, we got out to our first spot and all morning I'm throwing a frog and nothing. You know, we were throwing top waters. Uh, we were throwing the spin, uh, the swim baits we were throwing everything we could think of. Uh, later that day we had a early that morning also we had some issues where the trolling motor was coming up off of the deck it wasn't staying mounted so that's still something that we're working on and after we went back to the ramp we got that fixed we got back out there and this time we pulled up on a uh, on a riprap wall on one of the main highways going by the lake and I started throwing this square bill crankbait i believe it's a uh i believe this square bill is a strike king square bill but i also this is a monster bass square bill i call it a monster bass i got it in one of my monster bass subscriptions it's been tied on for a while so i figured i would just run with that anyway because i knew i was gonna uh, fish that riprap 
Uh, I've got this paired up on the Chuck 7.3 medium heavy power rod and it has the uh, 6 gear Prius 5.3 5 to 1 gear ratio and I was working this along the uh, that rip rack and the only fish that I caught in the whole tournament just so happened to be a bluegill. We're fishing a bass tournament. Bluegills ain't gonna help me but I was excited because one that was my first crankbait fish. First fish I've ever caught on a crankbait. So I was excited about that. But we actually caught a fish, but like I said, unfortunately, different. It was a long species, so it didn't really help. But needless to say, uh, we, we weren't able to get on the fish. Uh, fish but fishing was tough that day. A lot of the other guys said that they weren't able to get on them as well. Uh, I cannot think of the guys' names who won, but congratulations to them. Uh, they fished hard. They fished in places that we probably should have, but we didn't, and they they deserve that win. Uh, we are going to try to. There's another tournament called Rumble on the River. It's down in Camden, but it'll be on the Arkansas River, I believe. And then we're going to try to get into the tournament in September. That's going to be on the Arkansas River in the North Little Rock area. So I will make sure I get all of my camera gear set up and set out, ready to go. So y'all be on the lookout for those. This is going to be a very short video, y'all. I really do apologize. This rain came in earlier today and it looks like it's not done. So I'm trying to hurry up and get through this so I don't get rained on. But uh, that was the only fish. I will, leave, I will put a picture. In fact, in this section right here, right now, while I'm talking, you will see a, the fish will be somewhere in this area. Or right here somewhere in the middle of the screen you'll see the fish it's a bluegill I didn't even bother to weigh him or anything like that uh, if you have fish brain go to fish brain look me up creed 2583 that's creed 2583 I did post a picture on there on my fish brain profile so it will show you the area that we were in when I caught that fish and uh, like I said, I wasn't sure what bait this was. I, I couldn't even find this crankbait on the Fish Brain app. But I think I did put some of the other stuff. Uh, I know in the caption I did put in there that I what kind of rod and reel. Uh, but that was about it. Like I said, we didn't weigh in any fish. We had a lot of fun. We, we learned some things. I mean, fishing every day is a learning thing. Anytime you're out on the water, it's, it's a learning experience. But that is all I have for now. I'm going to get out of this rain because for some reason it seems like it's trying to rain harder and harder. And I don't want my camera stuff to get wet. But uh, again, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Please leave me some comments. And I will, I will read those comments. And I will get back to you guys. And uh, let me know. The, the, the setup videos that I've done where I showed you the setup on my Texas rig and my swim bait. Leave me some comments and let me know if you like those videos and I'll continue to do those. Um, I'll even try to do some uh, different casting videos, how to make a certain cast or something like that. And I will try to get out on the water some more and actually use these rods and reels and just show you how I like to fish them in some of the areas that I like to fish. So again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell. When you click subscribe, click on the bell next to it. So that way you get notified of the next time I put out videos. And I will see you guys again. Until the next time, be safe. I'll see you in the great outdoors.